Everyone knows about Hotmail, YouTube and Facebook. But how do they work? They're not running on your computer, they're running in the cloud. So what is the cloud? The cloud itself is often said to be the massive data centers that sit behind the internet, which store all your YouTube videos and Facebook messages and pictures. But the cloud is more than that. It's also a new generation of software that can be used through a browser. And it's the faster internet connections linking businesses and consumers together. In other words, the cloud is internet-based computing. It is easier to describe the cloud in terms of what it does. Think of the free internet-based email service Hotmail. All the emails in a Hotmail account aren't actually stored in your computer. They're sitting in a network of massive data centers connected to the internet. All the elements of the system that make Hotmail work are invisible to the user. The user just says, my email is in the cloud. Now business software is moving to the cloud too. Your work email, your document management system, your CRM database. This is a big change in how businesses use IT for four reasons. First, software that sits in the cloud doesn't need to run on a server in your office. So you no longer need to buy and maintain your own server. Second, cloud computing software is generally charged on a per user per month basis. So you only pay for the number of people that use it. The monthly fee for a small business is generally a lot cheaper than buying the regular shrink-wrapped software in a store. It also means businesses can try new types of applications without having to buy an expensive on-premise software license up front. Third, because you access cloud computing software through your web browser, your business information is available wherever there is an internet connection. Cloud computing makes you mobile and your staff mobile, which can transform the way you do business. Fourth, applications in the cloud don't run on one server like the ones in your office. They run on groups of servers which can direct more processing power, memory or storage to applications that need it. Say you're a retailer during post-Christmas sales. Then the data centers that make up the cloud can make sure the database has enough resources to handle the high number of customers. If you're hosting that database on your own server, it might have just stopped working because it wasn't powerful enough to handle the demand. For all its advantages, cloud computing isn't for everybody. When everything is stored in the cloud, your connection to it becomes crucial. If you don't have a fast and reliable internet connection, then you are out of luck. You're also dependent on the cloud provider for your IT. If that provider stumbles and can't keep its data centers working smoothly, then your computing will stop in its tracks. So make sure you choose a reputable cloud provider. Also, if you work with large images or video, say an architecture firm with CAD drawings, then it's going to take a long time moving those big files over an internet connection. In that case, you're better off storing your files on your own server at least until the MBN and superfast broadband arrives. But for most other businesses, the cloud can help them save money and work better today.